what's up channel welcome back guys I found a regular cab dually bighorn I can't wait to see it I have not looked at the window sticker or anything I think the truck just got here so I've never done a video on a regular cab dually someone on my Instagram is actually getting one so I'll do a separate one with him too maybe we can do some towing videos with that truck too so be sure to stay tuned for that and let's go find this truck real quick on another note if you're in the market for a truck right now I feel bad for you if you're not paying sticker you're probably paying over and that kind of sucks so be sure if you do need a truck at least have a trade-in or just wait all right guys we found it so I'm gonna pull it out here and while I'm doing that take a quick look at this really quickly be sure to subscribe to JB reviews and make sure you have those bell notifications on and be sure to check out my other channel attainable exotic cars now let's get back to the video my word isn't she beautiful man man oh man oh man now I am actually kind of disappointed with the payload I was expecting it to be like a little bit higher I'm gonna go over that with you in the video as I always do but let's take a look at the window sticker because I want to see how many options on this because that's probably why it's so heavy now you can see that it does have upgraded wheels so that's probably one thing that's probably making it a little bit heavier so let's take a look at the window sticker as luck would have it this is actually a sold vehicle so I'm not gonna be able to drive the truck today so I'll at least show you guys around the truck base price is forty three thousand and twenty dollars and as you guys know the high output all that stuff is gonna be optional you'll see that here in a second but this is just a quick listing of some of your standard equipment be sure to pause if you want to see more and starting off the options is that beautiful Patriot blue pearl now this truck does have the heavy duty snow plow and the max tow package so when you look out back in the bed you'll see that fifth wheel uh, hitch in there auto leveling reverse suspension so this truck does have quite a few options that would make the truck a little bit heavier and there you see that 30,000 pound fifth wheel hitch level one equipment group and of course if you get that max tow you have to get the high output Cummins Now this does have a 28 gallon fuel tank active noise control system and just a few other goodies on here too I'm wondering if it's a 28 plus a 31 or 32 gallon because 28 gallon tank on this thing that would be kind of dumb but who knows but just finishing off the options there's like quite a few things on this truck so just take a look at it, it has the auxiliary switches running boards has a upgraded sound system and of course the dual rear wheels is an option destination comes in at 1695 with a total price of Sixty-six thousand seven hundred and ten dollars. Wow! So this truck is definitely well equipped for a Bighorn. So let's go ahead and take a look on the outside, and then we'll make way back inside. Okay. So check out under the hood. This is going to be the high output Cummins. One way you can tell is obviously you have the uh, dipstick on the side, and you can see the code on the dipstick too. A S R C. That is the Eisen. So this is going to be good for a thousand and seventy-five pound-feet of torque and 420 horsepower this does have the cp3 i did do a review or not really a review i did a vlog i guess on a 2500 it was a 2019 it had a cummins that was blown be sure to check out that video but they put back in another cummins with the cp4 so i was kind of surprised they did that especially with them going back to the cp3s on the 2021 and up trucks but pretty much everything that you see here i said it does have the eyes and transmission this is probably one of the best coming engines of all time I mean I think the 7.3 with Ford back in the day was probably maybe number one in my book back then but I still think that this is probably the best Cummins or the best diesel you can buy today and as you guys see this is a point with the chrome with it being a big horn this one does have an optional fog light and overall styling looks good has the tow hook as you just saw on the window sticker these are a polished and aluminum wheel they aren't alcohol wheels if they were they probably would say it on the window sticker but they do look really really nice they are gonna be a 17 inch wheel and they are wrapped in a 235 80 17 this is gonna be an LT tire too and these tires have pretty good capacity so max on these tires are gonna be 
3,085 pounds and then for the dual it's going to be 2835 so these tires have a good amount of capacity um, all things considered it's going to be a 10 ply tire and just check out your solid front axle really beefy front suspension and for the most part I mean there's not much difference in what you've seen in the past I mean this running board that you see is an option too there is no smart key system but you do get a keyless entry and push button start standard on all rams and check out this huge rear end looks really good now check out the suspension out back you are going to have just four leafs in this leaf pack now normally when you get a high output you would have overload leaf springs but because this truck does have the air suspension with that max tow package you actually you lose those overloads and get the air bag as you can see just below and this does have a 410 axle that also came with that max tow package too and just check out the back i love this blue and this blue is really pretty i wonder if the guy who ordered the truck is still getting it i may have to ask if they backed out of the deal maybe what i'll do is maybe i'll drive the truck today but class 5 receiving hitch you do have your outputs for your um, 4 and 7 pin oh does not have a assisted tailgate i believe that is an option though but check out your 30,000 pound fifth wheel hitch and they do give you your seven pin four pin and they give you which is actually new for 2021 they do give you a plug inside the cargo area too now you can get led lights out back this truck was not option with that but let's see here i don't want to climb in the bed so let's just climb on the side take a better look at this hitch i mean look at the the jaws and that thing man this thing is really really robust they have a 20,000 pound hitch and then of course you have this one here i don't believe you can get a 20k hitch though with the dualies i think you have to get a uh 2500 with that one but yeah you see the mounting points for it they don't use the one in the center that's where you'd put your goose ball but man i wish i could tow it this bad boy maybe i should buy it today right my wife would kill me if i brought home another truck and plus i would need a crew cap too because i have two kids but there are no parking sensors out back as you can see led lights are available with the big horn so just keep that in mind and it would upgrade your tail lights too especially if you get the blind spot monitoring system it would upgrade these without the headlights i like the clear side markers too with the dually looks really really nice and like i said earlier man this blue looks really pretty And of course, I have to show you guys what the mirror is up to. Haven't done this in a while, so I figured I'd do it on this one. It's a really pretty truck, man. Wow. I kind of want one. Maybe I'll start a trucking company and I'll get a couple of these things. Inside the interior, one thing you can tell instantly is how big the front doors are on the regular cab. They're definitely bigger than what you see on a crew cab or a mega cab. Now, check out this little storage here. I love this. This is a good idea because you can put an umbrella right here and it's out of the way. I love that they do that. I mean, in the comment section, let me know if there's anything else you could put here. I mean, that's just the first thing that came to mind for me. But this is a big horn, so really nice interior. You have stitching on the side here. This is gonna be soft touch. Nice design, just like a cloth material with a fake plastic wood trim piece. A lot of bright finishes, like on the door handle and around this uh, piece here but most of this down below is going to be hard plastics but it's all finished in black so once you clean all this up it'll look really nice now driver's seat is going to be powered your passenger seat is going to be manual unfortunately so you have to move to a laramie if you want that to be powered now actually now that i'm thinking about it if you want a regular cab you can't get this in the laramie i don't believe so you have to move to a cabin chassis if you want higher trim levels but automatic headlights you saw that this did have the fog lights too. Let's go ahead and step inside here real quickly. 
when you check out around the interior you can really tell that there's a lot of attention to detail even for this being like a low trim level like this truck does have home link uh, look up top here although these are halogen or not halogen incandescent bulbs i mean it still looks really nice area here for your sunglasses this is auto dimming and they still give you vanity with lights on the passenger side that's a really cool touch now real quick i'm gonna step back out again getting in and out of this truck is really easy because of these running boards and i actually like the chrome accent on it because it matches the front of the truck but these seats are really really nice i probably go with the darker material just because i mean this is a work truck and i could expect this to get kind of dirty but they do look nice though there is storage behind the seat i wonder if there's a way to just pull it forward maybe not but you can kind of tell back here you have a little bit of storage one thing you notice too is you have a lot of power features too for the driver you can power adjust those uh pedals just below and if you want to turn on the power in the bed you have to push this button here okay that is an inverter too it's just pretty cool now let's go ahead and start this bad boy up as i mentioned earlier it does have push button start gives you the sweep now as far as your information inside of here let's go back to your trailer tow now it does show you the distance that you travel with your trailer and you can set up multiple trailers i'll show that to you in a second but if you scroll over to the right it shows you your trailer brake and your gain so if i'm, I'm pushing the brakes right now but you can actually pull this too and this will show you the percentage also okay and it's set up right now in light electric now if you go over to the right oh one more time this is going to be for your trailer light check so i'm going to hold down this arrow here and it just turned on the headlights left signal right signal so this is basically going through all the lights for the truck checking everything flash the high beams just now so this is a pretty cool like function uh, and if you want to stop it again all you have to do is just hold the button down and then it'll stop it for you and that's pretty cool I mean I, I, most of the manufacturers are doing that now um, a few other things because you do have the auxiliary switches below if you press the right the code is gonna be zero 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 to get in you have just an area here for your auxiliaries and your pin setup okay and let's keep going down shows your speedometer shows you your idle and drive for your engine hours and fuel economy actually let's go back up too so there's a few other things that it shows you in here too so it shows you your tire pressure for all six tires coolant trans temp oil pressure exhaust brake boost pressure diesel particulate filter oil life fuel filter battery voltage and my favorite shows you a gauge summary i wish every manufacturer does this every truck should have this especially for a truck like this but really easy to read on this too i like the way it's laid out you can get a larger screen in here if you option for it okay so just keep that in mind four wheel drive they give you four usbs type a's and type c's in the auxiliary just below this is an upgrade as i mentioned earlier that this is going to be the 8.4 i think it has a five inch standard now as i mentioned too you do have the option to set up multiple trailers so if you hit settings as you just saw and you click on trailer break you have four trailers you can set up this we're in the current trailer you can set the brakes either the heavy electric light electric over hydraulic your trailer manufacturer should be able to give you the actual information here so just keep that in mind but going back you can name the trailer whatever you like to if you have a cargo trailer car trailer travel trailer livestock cores all kind of different trailers you can set up up top they do give you power with some storage home link is above too and they do give you a vanity with lights on both sides which is pretty surprising lots of storage on this side and your center console has three cup holders and more storage coin holders USB, it's a type A and there's another plug 
inside the interior right below. And I know I'm jumping around a little bit, but this is your climate control and just below trailer brake. And this is how you would work your air suspension, alternate trailer height. You just push it once, lowering rear of vehicle and saying right height not permitted due to payload. So you have to add a load to this truck. On the 2500s, the air suspension is a lot better because you don't necessarily have to have a load. It will lower a lot easier. So let's hit controls just really quickly. So as you guys see, this does have the auto dimming mirror. You can do bed lowering. It says bed lowering is complete. And you do have a backup camera too. And you can zoom in. And if you would like a 360 camera for this truck, it is available for the big horns and tradesmen. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we're going through the city right now. The Eisen definitely does feel a lot more like composed. My truck, there's a little bit of jerk in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. But this definitely does feel a little bit more composed. I don't feel it shifting as much. And there's a little bit of lag, but it's not bad. I guess I just have to remind myself that I'm not driving a sports car. I'm driving a, what, this truck's probably like, what, 8,000 pounds, somewhere in there. But I love the visibility out of this truck. I mean, when my wife and I are empty nesters, I probably might have to go back to buy one of these bad boys. So I'm going over some bumps right now. Oh yeah, it's a little jerky transmission. So it's not bad though. It's, it's just, you can t definitely tell it's shifting. But going over some bumps in the road, very smooth though. I mean, I think the air suspension definitely does make a difference. Oh, I just heard a rock hit the side of the dually bed. So I would definitely try to maybe protect that if you're in a market or something like this. Going 55 miles an hour. Yeah, this truck handles really well. It's stiff though. I mean, listen, if you're someone in the market that your number one thing is comfort going down the road, and you're not towing a trailer, this probably might be a little unsettling for you. But it's not bad though. Like, I mean, you can see me inside the truck. I mean, I don't feel like I'm bouncing up and down or anything like that. It's not like it was back in the 2000s. Like, my father in law had a 2000 Ford F 350 single rear wheel, and it rolled way rougher than this. So, if you're comparing a truck like that to this, this truck rides like a 1500, basically. One thing that you'll notice too driving this is how quiet it is. It's very quiet. And you don't really hear the comments like you did just in 2018. Like when they went with the hydraulic lash adjusters, it really did quiet this truck down a lot. I mean, my truck was pretty loud back in 2018, but this is definitely more, you almost think you're driving a gas almost, I guess. But this one's just more, just quiet really quiet and I feel like even with the AC on I hit it you can hear the turbo and you can hear the Cummins come to life when you step on it we are going to do an acceleration test here in a second so it's in one second set up okay to it So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna show you guys a diesel exhaust brake. I'm gonna put it in tow haul mode also. All right, I just wanna show you guys just how strong it is. Yeah. Without there being a load behind us. No foot on the brake either, no foot. Now I have the foot on the brake now. Downshift. Oh my gosh, strong. See that? It is strong. Like 15, 14, 13, 12. I mean, you guys can see it, but it's, it's really good. I mean, this is the best of the best of the best. I know I sound biased, I sound like a Ram fanboy, but a lot of guys, even from the Ford and Chevy side, they say the same thing. Like they know that Ram is the winner there, but 
You can see it. The proof is in the pudding. In the discussion. Taking a look at the numbers, this does have a gross axle weight rating in the front at 6,000 pounds. The rear is 9,750 pounds with a gross vehicle weight of 14,000 pounds. All in payload capacity is going to be 5,674 pounds. So I thought that number would be like maybe 6,000 just because you don't have that crew cab, you don't have the extra doors, the extra seats. But this truck has a ton of options. I mean, the air suspension is going to add weight. And actually, you know what? Figure this hitch is probably about 150, 200 pounds in that ballpark. So that actually would probably give you most of your payload back because most trucks that you see are configured without that fifth wheel hitch. So that's probably why it seems low because it has a max tow package on it. If you are searching for the payload numbers for an individual truck, you can plug in the VIN number online. Uh, max payload is shown and the max towing for the specific truck. So this truck had a towing capacity of 34,674 pounds. You also have this guy. This is kind of generic for the numbers. It's just to give you a basis point. But once you add options to your truck, these numbers are going to look a little bit less like for the payload. So you can see the payload here is slightly higher because this truck is based off of a tradesman without any options. Gross combined weight for that truck that we just looked at is 43,000 pounds. So I did reset the fuel economy when we left. 12.2 is what we got. That is not bad. Not bad at all. But on that note, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for your support.